Hello. The topic of today is um, John 10.30, I and my father are one. Now if we recall the, the story of Jesus on, and why he was crucified or what led up to the crucifixion is because Jesus claimed to be one with the father. And that didn't go over very well with the um, power structure. But we don't need to go into great details at this point. And what I want to show is that John 10.30 tells us a real valuable secret here. Okay, We don't have to take it in context. We're taking it out of context. But <clears throat> the point is, is that I and my Father are one. Okay, What does that mean? They're the same essence, and this is what the fight was all about, that Jesus claimed to be one with the Father, or the same as God. And I'm going to show you just what that means. Here we have a cup of water, okay, and we have the ocean, the ocean water, okay. Regardless of the size of the cup, what is contained in it is still water. Macrocosm, microcosm, big, little, okay? Here, here is a illustration. Okay, I have a cup of water and I have a larger vessel that represent the ocean water. This is the Father, this is God. It's infinite in its source, although I'm illustrating it with a larger vessel. This is us. This is my cup. This is my spirit. This is our spirit. Okay? It is still water. Water. God. God. Spirit. Spirit. Now in the Bible, you'll notice that many times, well Jesus said, is it not written in your law that ye are God's? Little g. Little g. Big G. Okay? And we, when we return, we return to the Father. When we're born. Okay? I and the Father are one. We are the cup of ocean water, the vast, unlimited source of, of spirit, the ocean. We are one with the Father. So when we do the will of the Father, we are actually doing our will as well. Now, our will has to be in accord with the Father. We cannot become Kool-Aid. We cannot become Coca-Cola. We have to be in accord with what water is. We have to be pure, not filtered, not distorted. And this is what bring about bringing ourselves back into a spiritual awareness, reunification with the spirit, which is our own spirit, which is cleansing ourselves so that we can reunite with the vast ocean of wealth and knowledge and purity of spirit. Thank you.